Hello and welcome to the Beauty Know It All. Today I thought I'd talk about the role that your DNA plays in how you're aging. I'm never sure whether the fact that I've got quite good skin at my age is nature versus nurture. I have looked after my skin sporadically, probably not so much when I was younger and not a beauty editor. And I know that with each passing year, I look more like my father. You'd think I'd look more like my mother, right? But I don't. I take after my father's side of the family. I look more, I'm the same build as my father, and I look more like him with each passing year. So it's got me thinking, is it nature or is it nurture? Is it how I've looked after my skin? Is that one of the reasons that I've got quite good skin? Or is it all down to my genetic inheritance? Well, one of the things that I did was I got in touch with the team at Olay. And I always rely on Olay when it comes to skin science. They're one of the companies I know and trust really well. And they have recently finished a study of 150,000 women. And what they did was they looked at these women, they looked at their genetic makeup, and they partnered with Harvard University in the States. Now, 150,000 women took a mouth swab and they sent it off to a company called 23andMe. You'll know about 23andMe, I'm sure. They have these amazing DIY kits where you can swap the inside of your mouth and you can send it off and you can get a complete genetic profile of your health and well-being and markers about, you know, whether you're going to be prone to certain illnesses or what your background is in life. It's really fascinating. I mean, I'm such a science geek anyway, so I loved it. But I think it's very interesting that what Ole wanted was they wanted to look at 150,000 women and they wanted to check out two particular genetic markers within their skin, um, within their skin's DNA, to see if they would become what they termed exceptional skin agers. Now it's very interesting, only 8% of the population are exceptional skin agers. They have this ability, or their skin has this ability, through its genetic inheritance, through passing down through the fathers and the mothers and the grandfathers and all those generations that have come before, to cope with sun exposure and dehydration, essentially, because they are two of the most damaging things you can do to your skin. And I think Ole kind of thought that, well, if you're gonna age well, you're gonna age well and that's not what they found out at all. They actually found out that how you look after your skin determines what your skin looks like as you get older, far more importantly than your genetic inheritance. They discovered that although there were 8% of the population that were exceptional skin agers, women that looked good for their age and they mapped their skin and their lines and how they were perceived and their pigmentation, actually it was to do with how they looked after their skin and you'll not be surprised to hear that those women tended to not go in the sun not get dehydrated, to look after their skin with moisturisers, and more importantly, they didn't smoke. And I think it's really interesting that these exceptional skin agers can still age in a bad way if they don't look after their skin. But how does this inform how Olay create their products? You know for years I've loved and recommended Olay products. Well, they have basically reformulated three of their products. The one I particularly like is the Ole Regeneris Three Point Super Age Cream. And what they've done is they have worked out that these super agers have this ability to cope with dehydration and sun. And so what they've done is souped up their cream to give the rest of us the ability to cope with those things in the same way. They've added hyaluronic acid, which you'll not be surprised to hear, is your skin's moisture magnet. They've also put in carob seed extract, which is um, an antioxidant and hydrating extract. Quite a lot of plants have um, an antioxidant property. I spoke about it a couple of weeks ago. Well, this is quite an interesting one because it's a combination of a hydrator and an antioxidant. And then of course they have their famous peptides. I say famous because I partly made them famous. It's their pentapeptides. It's that generation of cell signal signaler, which is essentially a tiny piece of protein that lands on your skin when you put the cream on and it sends signals within your skin to repair itself, to produce more collagen and elastin, the things that as you get my age, slow down. So I think it's really interesting that looking at these 150,000 women and the genes of their skin aging has informed the way that Olay have reformulated their products. They're continually tweaking their products to make them new and improved and better. But I think that the hydration and the sun exposure are two key things that Olay wanted to target in their new generation of products. All the details of the products are below, including actually there are three products within the group, but obviously this one is targeted at my age group. Uh, all the details are below. And also you need to look at the Olay website 
to find out more information, especially if you're a bit of a science geek like me, because I really love the idea that Olay are teaming with 23andMe and Harvard. I instantly sat up and thought, this is serious stuff. But not simply to sit back on the information, but also to reformulate their products to make them bigger and better than ever before. What do you think? Do you think you're an exceptional skin ager? Would you be prepared to take the test? Do you think that you're taking after your mother, your father and your grandmother as you get older? Or are you ageing better than they are because skincare products are better than ever? I think we should have a discussion. Answer all the questions below. Let me know what you think and the products that you rely on. Let me know what your skin sins are. I don't smoke, I don't put my face in the sun and I keep my skin very hydrated. And it's obvious from Olay's results that's got more to do with my skin than the genes I inherited from my father. Thanks for watching, thank you for subscribing. All the details of the products and also the study are down below. Have a look, it's really, really interesting and I'll see you soon.